25 months after its release, the F5C is still one of the most popular premiums in the game, and apparently still very sought after, so I wanted to take a look at the plane and hopefully help you decide whether or not it's right for you. Let's start with the airframe. As you would expect for a light fighter, the F5C has good handling. It's quite nimble and retains energy well at high speeds. Handling is snappy and there's no compression so it feels very comfortable to play and is good at fighting. However, its little cruise missile engines don't work as well at lower speeds, so low speed acceleration isn't great, and if you get too slow in a fight, the plane sort of bogs down and struggles to pick up speed again. The biggest drawback to performance is really the relatively low top speed of just above Mach, which means you can't really dictate the terms of engagement against faster planes. As for weapons, you get two AIM-9E Sidewinders. Their range isn't impressive, and their low maneuverability of 10G allows enemies to just outpull them. Despite this, you will still get kills with them, and I find them to be particularly useful against slow enemies, enemies up at higher altitude, or enemies that are more concerned about their bombing run than surviving. They also have utility in forcing enemies to turn, causing them to bleed their speed and allowing you to close the distance. The missiles aren't good enough to rely on, so most F5C kills come from guns. You get two M39A2 cannons mounted in the nose with 560 rounds total. Trigger time is very impressive at nearly 10 seconds. Compare that to 6.25 seconds on the Mirage 3 and only 3.5 seconds on the MiG-21 SMT. M39s are easy to aim thanks to their high velocity, and their damage is also good after the real shatter fix. Usually they shred or at the very least cripple the target, but their damage isn't quite as good as other guns at this BR. Occasionally, you'll see low damage, especially against the Su-25, but overall, the firepower on the F5C leaves nothing to be desired. 10.3 Matchmaker is quite favorable, with lots of 9.7 to 10.7 games and a few down tiers to 9.3. Economically, the F5C is again very impressive. Its RP and SL multipliers, while not best in class, are still very high, meaning the plane will absolutely print RP and SL on a good match. Expert Crew is very expensive on high-rank premiums, and the F5C is no exception here with an Expert Crew cost of 1.5 million SL. But for a plane this maneuverable, you're going to be blacking out a lot without it, so spinning the SL here is well worth it, especially if you're going to play a lot of games in the plane. A high-level crew with max G tolerance and stamina is also a must. Defensively, the F5C really shines. It's got a pair of countermeasure launchers with a total of 60 slots. Their placement is ideal, they fire backwards directly into the exhaust plume, which isn't very hot to begin with due to the small engines this plane has. This makes flaring missiles absolutely trivial, and the low amount of flares needed leaves room to bring chaff to deal with radar missiles. On top of your flares you also get an RWR, and the good agility of the plane itself combined with its small size makes it a very difficult target to actually hit with guns. All of these things combined give the F5C good defensive abilities on all fronts. Even in a full up tier, the F5C can be a very survivable plane and a pain in the ass to take down. What the F5C is not good at is bombing. In fact, saying it's not good at bombing doesn't do it justice. The F5C is a terrible, terrible bomber, and the fact that it can carry bombs does not make it good at that role. The low speed acceleration off the runway is already bad without bombs, and when you strap its heaviest bomb load to the plane, its acceleration becomes truly abysmal. It's hopelessly uncompetitive when it comes to getting to a base in a timely manner, and on top of that, it doesn't have any form of ballistics computer. Just about every other plane at this BR can either carry more bombs, get to the base faster, or usually both. It's so hilariously slow, even with a lighter bomb load, that the strategy of dropping bombs and then fighting doesn't really work since you miss the important early stage of the game where having match impact is so vital for success. I can't think of a plane that has a bigger gap between efficiency as a fighter and efficiency as a bomber than the F5C. So back to the title of this video, should you buy the F5C? I think it's hard to give this plane a blanket yes or no recommendation, and whether or not you buy it comes down to your experience level, what you're looking for in a plane, and how you value your money. If you're an experienced jet player, and you've played matches in the 9.3 to 10.3 bracket, you've probably fought the F5C a fair bit and have a good idea of what to expect from this plane. You also probably know how good your aim is, and have a general understanding for how jet combat at this BR works. In your case, I think the F5C is a great plane to grind the tree with if you're into that sort of gunfighting combat and can make it work. If you're not experienced, like a lot of new F5C buyers are, you're probably going to be met with a very steep learning curve since it doesn't have any cracked missiles to rely on like a lot of other premiums do at this BR. If you're willing to learn and improve and push through that initial learning curve, the F5C really rewards good fundamental jet gameplay, and I think it's one of the better premiums to get. But keep in mind, the lack of a crutch to rely on might make playing the F5C as a new player a frustrating experience. To be honest, I don't think any high rank premium in this game is worth it at full price. Pack premium sales are a bit inconsistent when it comes to what gets discounted and by how much, but the next one is in early November and there's a high chance the F5C gets discounted. Buying a premium is a big commitment, which brings me to your other option if you're looking for an American premium to grind the tree, the F4S. I don't think you can go wrong with either one here, and which one you pick depends on what you're looking for since the two planes have very different playstyles and very different matchmakers. 
A large part of finding success in the FRS depends on weapon knowledge. If you can make the radar and missiles work, you can start seeing results in it, which cannot be said about the F5C. I'd argue that the FRS has less steep of an initial learning curve, requiring more technical knowledge and keybinds to get kills compared to the F5C which requires more experience and aim skill. The F4S will teach you how to use weapons at top tier, but the F5C will teach and really reward good fundamental jet combat skills. Both planes have tech tree counterparts that offer pretty much analogous experiences. The F4J is essentially an F4S without wing slats, and the F5V is an up-engined F5C with AIM-9Js and a very similar matchmaker, so you're not missing out on much of a unique experience if you turn down either of these planes. Keep in mind the F4S is a rank higher, so it can research the entire tree through rank 8, while the F5C can only go to rank 7, so if you go the F5C route, I'd recommend putting a talisman on something like the F8E or F5E to complete the tree. So overall conclusion, I think the F5C has aged very well and it's a fantastic premium with the big caveat that it's probably not for everybody. If you think the F5C's gunfighter playstyle is in your wheelhouse, I say go for it. Otherwise, you're probably better off with something else.